Hey everyone, today we're going to open up this box of Theros Beyond Death and see if I can get some value out of it. It's that time, new set, new boxes to open. Let's go. Some pretty good mythics in this set. Some good rares. And just a couple of uncommons that we'll be looking out for. Looking for a gray merchant. And uh, Fuel the Ruin, I believe. So, here we go. Let's see. Are these the pull-down tab style? I don't think they are. So, regular old pack that falls apart style here. So, we're just going to quickly go through the commons. There's nothing much to look for at this point. So, we got Heroes of the Rebel, Banishing Light, Hateful Eidolon, and a Kinoros Hound of Athreos. Ah, yeah, 3-3 three, three for 3, Hound, Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink, Creature Cards and Graveyards can't enter the battlefield. That means you, Cat. Players can't cast spells from Graveyard, so great hate on that. A Foil, Unknown Shores, and a Pokemon Energy Forest, and a Nightmare Token. Very cool there, so that is the stack there. Move this stuff over. Token land, sure. Let's do it. 36 packs to go. All right, we're just going to skip Furious Rise, Renata Call to the Hunt, Sage of Mysteries. Mysteries, yeah. Elspeth Conquers Death. It's a saga for five, and it does some stuff. Feel free to read it right there. That's a lot to read all at once. I'm going to skip it. A full Triton Wave Rider and a Kraken. Release it. Release that Kraken. All right. Probably being yelled at every LGS across the country right now. Release the Kraken. Reverent Toplight, favorite of Iroas. Destiny Spinner, love it. I'm a big uh, enchantment creature kind of guy, so this one is very nice for protecting those. Temple of Deceit. A black and blue Scryland and a wall token. All right. Kalafi, beloved of the sea, one with the stars. Glimpse of freedom and a temple of enlightenment for blue and white. Let's see here. Dawn Evangel. Glimpse of Freedom again. Clothis's Design and Nessian Boar. 10 6 for 5. All creatures able to block Nessian Boar do so. Whenever Nessian Boar becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller draws a card. Hmm. If only it had Trample, right? Hey, there we go. We got a foil uh, constellation. Renata called to the hunt. So we're going to check on that one later as well. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna scan them all up. See if I got my money's worth on this box. Devourer of Memory, Stinging Lionfish, Hydra's Growth, and Eidolon of Obstruction. Two one for two. First strike enchantment creature. Loyalty of the abilities of planeswalkers your opponent's control cast one more to activate. Decent. Ichthyomorphosis. It's pretty funny, actually. It's not funny when it happens to your creature, though. Farrakis Spawn. Slaughter Priest of Mogis. Thundering Chariot. And a Shadow Spear. This is a good one. Legendary Artifact Equipment for one. Equip creature gets one, one and has Trample and Lifelink. And you can pay it to make your permanents, your opponent's control, lose hex proof and indestructible until end of turn. Good, 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 good. The Rage Hound and the Commons go there. Laguna Band Storyteller, <clears throat> Thundering Chariot, Nessian Horn Beetle. I think this guy's kind of underrated. He's pretty good actually. An Idyllic Tutor reprint. Whoops. Um, that is um, 
still worth a little bit. Uh, two or it's three mana for a sorcery to search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. There we go. Stack these up a little more. There we go. And this one, yep, I gotta make sure not to miss the uncommons. Mischievous Chimera, Shoal Kraken, Minions Return, ooh, and a Heliod Sun Crowned. Very nice mythic right there. It's a 5-5 five, five, for 3 legendary enchantment creature god. He's indestructible. You gotta have devotion of white of 5 to make him a creature though. Whenever you gain life, put a woman counter on target creature or enchantment you control, and you can pay to give something a lifelink. Very, very, very solid. Um, and this is so good with a Johnny's Pride mate, and anything that wants to gain life, of course. Omen of the Sun and Foil. There we go. Phalanx Tactics. Threnody Singer. Siona Captain of the Pileus and a Nyx Bloom Ancient there two in a row great mythics so it's a 5-5 five, five for 8 trample enchantment creature elemental and if you tap a permanent for mana it produces three times as much of that mana instead there's some crazy nonsense you could do with that card for sure let's uh, bring our mythics down here and try to show them off a little better there we go Alright, Uncommons, Laguna Band, Storyteller, Archon of Falling Stars, and a Mirror Shield, and a Dryad of the Elysian Grove, that's three in a row, good hits there. 2-4 for three, Enchantment Creature, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. Super good, If you oh, and a foil, Idyllic Tutor, so far so good with this box right here. Very nice. I'm going to put this in that pile. And uh, actually, that's a big hit. We're going to put that right here. <clears throat> I don't know what the multiplier is going to be on that foil, but it should be pretty good. Impending Doom, Mirror Shield, Hero of the Winds, and a Clothis, God of Destiny. Man, that was a bunch of them right in a row. That had some great stuff in it. Four, five, for three, Indestructible God. And Devotion to Red and Green's gotta be more than seven, or seven at least. Uh, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a land card, add red or green. Otherwise, you gain two life, and Clothis deals two damage to each opponent. Very good. Very good. Um, wow, all right, got a nice little set up here for some hits Nyx Herald Stinging Lionfish Hydra's Growth and Storm's Wrath it's Sorcery for 4. Storm's Wrath deals 4 damage to each creature and each planeswalker it's good, it's good, very usable Gophos Maze Warden, Wolf Willow Haven, Field of Ruin, that's when we're going to pull and scan, oh my gosh, and a, uh, a Constellation Clothis God of Destiny, wow, this has so far been a great box, super happy, uh, same guy as before, just different art, so we'll put that right there, and a Foil Blood Aspirant, and that's nothing, okay, Moving right along. So already four mythics in the box, not even halfway through yet. A good foil rare. And some other decent rares. Feeling pretty good about this one. Heroes of the Rebel, Farrakis Spawn, Soul Guide Lantern. Got an, something legendary here. Hactos the Unscarred. Nice, this guy's fun, but I don't see <laughs> He's kind of he's kind of tough, right? So he's a six-one for four, legendary human warrior. 
He attacks each combat if able. As he enters the battlefield, choose two, three, or four. Hactos has protection from each converted mana cost other than the chosen number. So it makes it difficult for you to buff him um, with anything targeting. Um, and of course, he's the majority of the removal around is going to be like two or three. So if you roll a four on Hactos, you're doing pretty good. Um, I, I kind of want to give this guy Menace. Then it makes it tough for you to double up and block him. Um, so uh, I still kind of like him. And a Foil Destiny Spinner. Good. Beautiful. And an advertisement card for Arena. I play plenty of Arena. Don't, <clears throat> don't even get to play physical cards hardly ever. <laughs> Acolyte of Affliction, Favorite of Iroas, Destiny Spinner, and a Dream Trawler. So it's a 3-5 for 6, Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus 1. Whenever it attacks, draw a card. You can discard a card. It'll gain Hexproof until end of turn you tap it. I think it's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is the Clothis box right here. So now a foil Clothis to go with my other two. Unbelievable. Right, right. And a sad reflection. Five Mythic Box. How much further can we go? Meyer Triton. All Seed of Life's Bounty. Rise to Glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting silly. Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis, Mythic Planeswalker for four, and only has minus abilities, and then you can escape her back onto the battlefield. Very cool. Wow, we are just wrecking it on the Mythics on this box. I'm going to have to double them up here. Six Mythic Box. Wow. This supposed to be how Rudy feels. He's got all the luck. Share some of that luck, would you? Mischievous Chimera. Archon of Falling Stars. Timurit Chosen from Death. And a Storm Herald. Um, he's a 3-2 three, for 3. He's got haste and he enters the battlefield. Return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Attach to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If they would leave the battlefield, exile them, right? So, it's not bad either. Uncommons, Banishing Light, Nyx Herald, Sage of Mysteries, and oh my gosh, seventh mythic of the box, the Ox of Agonos. When uh, it's a 4 2 for 5, when Ox of Agonos, go Nass. Enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards, and you can escape it for two and exile eight other cards. And escapes with a 1 1 counter on it, so this is really, uh, you really just want to throw this in your graveyard and escape it. Right, so you can draw some cards. So, very cool though. Seven mythic box, halfway through it. Dawn Evangel, Underworld Fires, Commanding Presence, Archon of Sun's Grace, three, four, four, flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Little Pegasus Commander, nice. And Constellation, whenever your enchantment, when an enchantment enters the battlefield under control, create a 2-2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. I'm going to play this card. It just seems like the kind of jank that I like to build around. And hopefully there's enough uh, Pegasuses in standard right now. And an altar of the Pantheon for the foil. What does this thing do? Your devotion to each color and each combination of colors is increased by one. Add one mana of any color. If you control a god, a demigod, you gain one life. Okay. Wait, I guess it's like a little limited card, right? Let's see. That was nothing anyway. Here we go. Man. Any more mythics? I'm like, I'm really hunting for them now. Hero of the Nyxborn. Fairies Band Brawler. Commanding Presence. Nylea's Intervention. Pay X and two green for sorcery. Choose one. Search your library for up to X land cards reveal and put them into your hand. 
or it deals twice X damage to each creature with flying. We got a foil stinging lionfish. What a shiny fish. <clears throat> Fateful End, Woof Willow Haven, The Triumph of Annex, and a Dalakos Crafter of Wonders. 2 4 for 3, Legendary Merfolk Artificer, add 2 colorless. Spend that mana only to cast artifact spells. Equip creatures you control with flying in haste after they have equipped, sure. All right. Drag to the underworld. Good removal here. Trancing liar. Minions return. And a Nyx Lotus. Another good rare. Legendary artifact for four. Enters the battlefield tap. Choose a color. Add an amount of mana to that of that color equal to your devotion to that color. The devotion rock. Whirlwind Denial, Blood Aspirant, Enemy of Enlightenment, and a Perforos is in Intervention. Uh, sorcery, pay X and a red. Choose one and create an X1 red elemental creature with Trample and Haste. You gotta sacrifice it. Or it deals twice X damage to target creature or planeswalker. So that second mode is probably pretty darn good. No, I think that's a good card. Starlit Mantle, Foil, and a Wolf Token. All right, another stack here to go through. It's really slowed down on the mythics. Can I expect any more? Agonizing Remorse, Nessian Wanderer, The Triumph of Annex, cool saga. I like the art on that. And a Bronze Hide Lion. It's a 3-3 three, three for 2. You can pay to give it indestructible. When it dies, it returns to the battlefield as an enchantment that you can put onto another creature. So that's decent. Oops, here we go. Staggering Insight. Utropia, the twice favored. Field of Ruin, we'll pull that one. And a Labyrinth of Scophos. It's basically a Maze of Ith that costs four. Uh, to remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. Cool art, though. Man, that I would get lost in there. Just look in the parking lot. All right, there's a foil guy that I threw on the floor. We don't need him. Mystic Repeal, Clothis's Design, Cling to Dust, and Atris, Oracle of Half Truths. It's got 3 2 for 4, Legendary Human Advisor, Menace. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library and separates them into a face down pile and a face up pile. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So there's some kind of funny games you can try to do with this, try to fool your opponent. Um, mostly the caster is going to win the, the pick, I think, on, on the piles there. Because you're going to put it into a deck where you'd be happy to have stuff be in the graveyard, I imagine. Okay, alright. Furious Rise, Cling to Dust, Rise to Glory, and Mantle of the Wolf, 3-4 enchantment. Enchant creature gets plus 4, plus 4. When it goes in the graveyard, create two wolf creature tokens. There you go. Chain web, Arachnir, Reverend Hoplite, Escape Velocity, Tyrannica, our Crowan veteran, 3 3 for 3, Legendary Soldier, Vigilance, whenever it attacks, and then tap another target creature you control. Till end of turn, that creature has base power and toughness 4 4 and gains indestructible. Oh, and a foil shadow spear. That's probably pretty good, too. All right. I'm liking this box. That was two foil rares, I think, that I got. Got a shadow spear and an enlightened tutor. And there's a constellation annex. Illyrios enraptured, the sad reflection guy. 
Eutropia again, and Ashiox Erasure. Um, wait, where's my piles here? Oh, I'm all messed up here. I could put commons over there. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Ashiox Erasure. Four, an enchantment for four. It's got Flash. You exile a spell when it comes into play. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exile card. And when it leaves the battlefield, return the exile card to its owner's hand. Okay. I'm sure the counterspell crowd would say it costs a little much, right? Okay. Got to make sure I stay organized here. Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Just barely over 90 cents. That's my threshold, so I'll pick it. Got a Nessian Horn Beetle, the Daxos, and a Temple of Malice. Black and red. Shimmerwing Chimera, Citizen Petitioner, Hateful Eidolon, and Underworld Breach. Enchantment for two. Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost. Plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Underworld Breach. I don't think I like this card. I think that it's just... It's temporary. If you could like have it sit there for the whole game and you could then make use of that ability, it would be useful. It's just a one turn Hail Mary, that's all it is. Fateful End, Daxos, Escape Velocity, Protean Thaumaturge. 1-1 one, one for 2, Human Wizard, it's got Constellation, whatever, an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. Hmm. Hmm, you can mirror your opponent's creatures with it, I suppose. Good for making more Risen Reefs. Oops. Scophos Maze Warden, Threnody Singer, Siona, Allure of the Unknown, the Seb McKinnon art for the set. Five for a Sorcery Revealed, top six cards of your library, and opponent exiles a non -line card from among them. Then you put the rest in your hand. That opponent may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Wait, <laughs> what? Oh, gotcha. So he gets to keep one of those cards and cast it for free. Why? I don't know why you'd want to do that. All right, down to the last two. Dreamstalker Manicore. Elspeth's Nightmare. Very cool art on that. Underworld Fires, and a Femia, the Cacophony, 2-1 two, for 2, Legendary Harpy, it's got Flying, at the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token, I think that's got some possibilities. Last pack, didn't get a foil basic land yet, I notice, what is in here? Shimmerwing Chimera, Hero of the Winds, Nessian Wanderer, and Thassa's Intervention. X and two blue, choose one. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them in your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library. Where you can counter target spell unless its controller pays X. There it is. So let's scan these up and see how I did. Foil Shadow Spear is 11 bucks, And now to the Mythics, uh, which are not foil. Got an Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. 750, Ox of Aganos. Different version, always. 750 for that, too. Heliod, Sun Crowned. 
1889 right now. Nyx Bloom Ancient. Not the promo pack version. The regular one. 13. And my three Clothuses. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We'll start with the regular one. Not a promo pack. Regular Clothos. Clothus is 880. The Constellation version. It counted it as the original. Yeah, this thing has tons of problems. Minus one. The showcase version is 999. If we scan it again, it'll think it's the regular one, 880. And then one of these in foil. Let's try to trick it. Promo pack version foil. It's not the regular Clothis foil is $16.99. So if this is correct, which who knows, because it can't see these cards correctly, I got about 150 bucks in value out of this box. Pretty dang good, right? So that was a seven mythic box. Um, so that's fun. Um, thanks for sticking around and catch you on the next one.